Mona Victory Gardens Project. Episode 1. What's a victory garden? This is Mona. It's normally a museum of old and new art, full of stuff like this. And this is Kirsha Keschler, artist and queen of Mona. Over the next few months, KK has decided to dig up the useless Mona lawn and replace it with a victory garden. With the help of Ben. So what is a victory garden? KK? Victory garden? Oh, victory gardens grew almost all of America. Yes, KK. After World War II, Americans dug up their useless lawns and planted vegetables that ended up providing 40% of the country's food needs. So with Ben's help, ben. Maybe we can get all of Tasmania to do the same. G'day, I'm Ben from Mona. I'm the horticultural manager. I'm going to be taking you through a step-by-step -step way to construct, grow and maintain your vegetable garden. Your victory garden. It should be that easy that KK will even be able to do it. <laughs> KK loved that joke at her expense. Next week we are going to select the best place for our garden and also how we're going to construct the garden, the plant selection and we might even get a bit of planting done. Thank you, Ben. Oh yeah. And KK wants everyone to play along at home by planting their own victory gardens at exactly the same time. There will be weekly prizes. That's right. This week, the best start to a victory garden will win a pair of Blunstons. Will there be a giant major prize? Yes, there'll be a fabulous giant major prize. Great idea, KK. There will be a huge major prize thingy at the end for best garden. Stay tuned for a major huge prize thingy update next week. Here's Brian Ritchie playing the flute. Fantastic! So, there you have it. Let's all turn our useless fucking lawns into vegetables. And let's do it all at the same time. See you for KK's next episode on Thursday. See you next Thursday! Mona Victory Gardens Project! Do it for the veggies.